Hey guys, Ivan here, and right now you're gonna hear Phil Heath talking about his stomach, or so-called bubble gut, and he's basically explaining why he gained it, why it was smaller in 2011, as you can see right here on this photo, and why it got worse, much worse, and much bigger later on. So let's just cut to the chase, let's play the video. When people make that commitment of being an overclass bodybuilder and they gain 100 freaking pounds of muscle, 100 pounds of stage weight, that's gonna happen. Yeah. So I don't care what anyone says, it's like, and don't say it like it's a problem. Yeah. Say it like that's the evolution of yourself. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, if everybody could be a cartoon character and keep a 29 inch waist and be fucking this wide, they yeah. would. But that's not real. Like, it's like when people say, oh, we would love for you to come back at 2011, like all the fans, you know, the 2011 yeah, yeah, yeah. Mission Olympic. I'm like, What's happened since then? A lot of muscle. A lot of there. muscle. Like, you know that was 20 pounds of muscle ago? Yes. That's a lot. So, there you go. He didn't mention his hernia surgery or whatever. He just said he got bigger. And that's why his stomach grew. Do you see that? I don't know, man. I personally prefer his 2011 edition. I think that's when he was at his best. 2012 and 2013 were also great. He did get a little bit bigger. But I still prefer 2011, I think the combination of conditioning and fullness and small waist, which gives the illusion of having even bigger body, was just ideal. And did he gain 20 pounds of muscle? Well, if he says that he did, he probably did, I'm sure he did. But is that really that obvious? Do you think he looks much bigger now than he was 2011? I still find his 2011 version more impressive, and if he stayed like that, if he didn't gain those 20 pounds of muscle and those, I don't know how many, 5 inches in his waistline, I think he would be a much better bodybuilder today. And I think he would not lose 2018 Mr. Olympia. He would be 8 times Mr. Olympia right now and he would be winning a couple of more. I think he would win like maybe more than 10 if he wanted to compete further. So that's about it for this short video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like it and don't forget to tell me your opinion on this down below. And also, subscribe. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.